New PR Info is a non-governmental organization that works to promote human rights through the Universal Periodic Review. Every five years, UN member states make recommendations to other states to suggest how to improve the human rights situation in their country. And with 42 states being reviewed each year, there could be up to 8,000 recommendations that need sorting. This is where UPR Info's team comes in. We extract the recommendations and one by one, categorize them by topic. Having access to information through our database empowers human rights advocates to put pressure on the states and to make them accountable on their human rights obligations. All this work happens with a very small team and the amount of information is huge. Let's say that we felt the pressure. Eurodox is a non-governmental organization that was founded in 1982. Using the power of machine learning, we're helping UPR Info to better organize and mobilize the thousands of UPR recommendations that are being made. And coincidentally, we just work right across the hall from each other. We started off with BERT, which is a pre-trained natural language processing model that's available for anyone on TensorFlow Hub. That's really helpful because a ton of work and processing power went into creating this model, and we could build on top of it for our specific use case. We used TensorFlow to build a classifier that would take human rights-related text and assign human rights topics to them. And we had 60,000 hand-labeled examples from the UPR Info team that we could use as training data. Right now, UPR Info has to explicitly accept or reject a suggestion, and that information is then used to retrain the algorithm. So over time, those suggestions get better. Updating the database after each cycle has gone from taking two to three months to taking one week. The first amazing feeling was to catch up with the backlog. That really was a good feeling. This is so much more than uh, sorting out or reviewing recommendations. It's really providing uh, tools uh, for human rights advocates. It's really been amazing to see how a technology like machine learning can be applied to human rights and have a real impact. There's always more to do. <laughs> There's so much more to do. There's so much more potential for positive human rights change. So it's also what's next. What more can we do? That, that, that's a motivation, frankly.